Hello and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 26 and we will learn about how to perform parametric EM simulation in ADS. So we will start using the same layout we were working in the last tutorial video where we had this low pass, you know, kind of filter representation and we obtained this response. Now, if you have to improve the response or if you want to perform an EM optimization, first of the need of you know doing that is to have a parametric layout now in order to create a parametric layout pretty much like a schematic we need to declare variables and in layout the way we declare variable is slightly different than schematic so we can go to em menu go to component and click on parameter this is equivalent of declaring variables in a schematic now, you can have two type of components uh, which you can make as parametric. One is what we call a subnetwork model, which are nothing but these standard components which we are currently using in our design. And the other method is uh, called as nominal perturbed. And that method is used for anything which we are using a freehand drawing, you know, kind of components such as polygons, rectangles, circles, and all that. In this tutorial video, we will focus on subnetwork method, which is the easiest way of performing a parametric design. I always recommend uh, people to use uh, as you know, as far as possible, um, you know, components from the standard library. The reason for that is each of these components are a parametric component themselves. So when we assign any variables to those components, these components know how to change the shape or how to take up these parameters and modify the geometry. So here I'm going to assign two variables L1 and L2. Both of them will be typed as subnetwork and I will add them in the list. So this much is pretty much similar to how we declare variables in the schematic uh, block. And we can keep on defining as many variables as we have uh, for our job required in the layout. Now, once the variables are declared, I can double click on the components and this is what I meant by you know, subnetwork because this component itself has a has a P cell, which is parametric cell. And instead of hard coding the number here, I can type in, for example, L1, and this L1 value will get passed here. Remember the units of L1 I have already declared while declaring the variables. So when we assign L1 here, we shouldn't be selecting a unit. By mistake, if you select um, unit here as well, see what happens. Now we will have it like a micron because mm multiplied by mm, it creates e raised to minus six kind of behavior. So we should not be declaring variables at two places. So we'll keep it L1. And once the first component is done, same thing we will do with the second component and declare it as L2. And now we have our design, which is parametric with a variable assignment. Now, once this thing is done, we can go ahead into EM menu again and we can create an EM model and symbol. So that means it will currently create a blank EM model if you haven't performed a simulation or it attaches the, the simulation results what you have performed after declaring these variables and it will also create a symbol uh, for our network design. So once we click OK, the EM model and symbol is successfully created and we can go back to ADS main window and look at here we have a EM model and we have a symbol under the cell view. And if you double click on the EM model, we can look at the database. Currently, we do have a data from our previous simulation run, which I showed you during the last video. And that is for L1 value of 6mm, L2 value of 6mm again. Now this way, I have a model and I have a symbol which will represent the model. Now I have created already a separate schematic in which I have a placeholder where I will place the new symbol which I just created. And from here, uh, dragging and dropping the symbol from this cell um, to, to this library or to this schematic here, you can see I have a symbol and it has two parameter attached to it. And it's like a layout look like symbol representing the shape. Wherever we connected the pin in our layout will appear as a connection point and I can make external connections um, of this component into the schematic. Now with this, I already have a couple of parameters sweep defined, a couple of variables defined. So let me go ahead and pass on 
the variable which we have declared in schematic which is basically this l1 and l2 and then i'm sweeping this l1 from 5 to 10 and l2 from 5 to 10. so this all is already described in the video um, you know, earlier posted in this tutorial series and if you haven't watched the video i would recommend you to go ahead and watch you know how to run parameter sweep how to declare variables and so on so once we start the sweep at every stage what you can notice we have a job manager and it will launch sequential number of jobs depending upon how many combination of these values are running so we'll pause here and we're back to this video once we have all the simulation finished in the background now as you can see uh, we have finished all 36 simulation states uh, for various l1 and l2 combination and it took approximately you know five or six minutes on my laptop to run which is not so bad considering we were running 36 em simulations now after the simulation is finished we have the data display and we can go ahead and plot our s parameter data as we usually do and you can notice all the performance of our um, you know circuit with varying length conditions of the capacitive region and similarly we can go ahead and plot s11 so beyond this the the process of data mining and data processing is pretty similar to what we discuss in in a few of the earlier videos in the series and hopefully it will be beneficial for you so that's all for this video thanks a lot for your time and attention